Can I just have a show of hands? Uh, do you guys know what memes are? Oh, that's great. I can still continue with this talk. So um, I, I think memes, to summarize it, it's, uh, it's the pop. Oh, yeah. Memes, it's you know, a concept or a catchphrase that spreads across the internet. And it, goes, it spreads by person to person. And it usually is in the form of an image or a GIF or a video. And it, it looks something like this. You know, it's just uh, some text and an image that corresponds to it. But the key idea is that it's able to spread condensed ideas in digestible, shareable pieces of content. About four years ago, I was still a fresh graduate from university, a comms graduate, and together with all my friends, we were looking for jobs. And we were looking, 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 and you know, we all had the same objective. We wanted to go to established organizations. We want to rise up the ranks. We want to rub shoulders with the giants of the tech industry, of the advertising industry, of the media industry. And you know, at the core of it, we wanted people to pay attention to what we are doing. We wanted people to pay attention to what our work is. And through my job hunts, I, I found these two guys who ran a meme page. They made memes for a living. They worked together with brands, together with uh, uh, media organizations, with agencies, with government organizations to create content, and that's their living. So they offered me a job. Hey, yeah, you want to make memes for a living? And to me, it was really hard to refuse. So I asked my then girlfriend, my wife, hey, what do you think about this? And she said, uh, yeah, it's better to get a stable job. OK, never mind. So I asked my parents. They were like, yeah, 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 yeah just, just do whatever you want. Get a stable job. And so I, I asked a few friends around as well. And of course, I did the most logical thing that anyone could do. I went for this job. And four years later, we are a team of 75, spreading across three countries in the region, Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines. And we create memes and we create content for people around the region just to make their day a better one, be it through content that entertains and engages. But that's a different story. I'm here to talk about how memes can capture attention. Um, so memes are a great way to spread condensed ideas. And you must be thinking to yourself, hey, doesn't that pander to the short attention span culture? And that's the point. I think the fact is that you know, right now, we are standing in such a crowded digital space, and people don't have much attention to give to you. They have so many options, right? If, if, imagine you're taking a train to work, and you know, you're, you're just scrolling through your phone. There are so many thousands of messages you're just bombarded by. You, you, know, you have your Instagram, you have your Pinterest, you have your LinkedIn, you have your Reddit and your Quora's. And you know, your attention is really one of the most critical resources that you can give to whoever wants it from you. And that's, that's what we are going to talk about here right now. And through my years in advertising or brand messaging or whatever, uh, I realized that the most important thing that the audience can pay to you is, in fact, attention. And here's a, a piece of a comic strip from Calvin and Hobbes. And this shows the flip side of what some form of attention-grabbing things are. So what he does is, you know, he just pokes the balloon and, oh, uh, hey, give me attention. And uh, there's a fine line to be drawn between this and attention. That, that things that you do that give true value, they will get attention from you. So for example, um, I'm pretty sure you have seen seeded content or seeded fights online. For example, uh, Logan Paul and the other guy, you know, they just want to create fights. That drums up behavior, uh, that drums up attention, that drums up hype but that is not sustainable. And it, it doesn't really give true value for the audience. Whereas, you know, for example, if, if you do um, memes, at least you provide humor. There's meaningful recall. You can condense ideas, and you can spread these ideas to your audience. And that is more sustainable, in my opinion. OK, um, the, I mean, if, if you haven't heard, or you, if you haven't taken in whatever I've said just now, I think this is something that uh, is most important. So this is the kind of content that ASGAG, the company that I'm working for, does. We create localized, contextualized memes because we realize that this is what Singaporeans want. If you want attention from people, you have to think about their point of view. You have to think about why would they be willing to pay attention to you. 
And for us, the decision was really clear. At a point in time, a uh, couple of years back, uh, 9 gag was really still popular, and 9 gag was churning out memes here and there. And uh, what we really wanted to create is a meme page that catered to Singaporeans. And we realized that all our content had to be contextualized for Singaporeans. So we talk about the weather through the Joker meme. And because we don't have access to chewing gum here, so we make it such that, hey, you know, when you open a pack of gum, the classmates will come through like how the Avengers heroes come through like the portal. And we write on trends as well. For example, Pokemon Go, we compared Joseph schooling uh, when he was young to a Maggie Cup. And then when you know, he won the Olympic gold medal, he became a Gyarados. For, for those of the, you, know, you folks who know what Pokemon is. And uh, we write on trends, like the haze. We photoshopped the Marina Bay Sands flyer into a huge fan to blow the haze away. And we realized that if we don't differentiate ourselves from the other generic meme content pages out there, we're just going to end up like just, just some random meme page. And we're going to be competing with the big boys out there, in maybe the US or the other countries, and we'll lose our relevance. So this is what we've been doing. We, un we, we try our best to understand why people want to consume our attention, why people want to give us attention, and we work on that. It applies on the physical setting as well. Imagine you're a teacher in a classroom. You can't just shout, pay attention, and expect your students to pay attention to you for a long period of time. You have to think of some way to engage them fruitfully, such as they listen to you. Even when talking to kids, you can't talk to kids the same way like you talk to adults. You have to think of why they will want to pay attention to you. Or, perhaps more relevant to some other people here, in a meeting. It's, it's, a, it's a corporate meeting, it's professional, or it's a casual meeting. I think what would be really helpful is at the start of the meeting, you just address everyone, find out you know, how their day was, ask them to share a bit more about their lives. So for the next 15 minutes, you can get their full attention and we can have a fruitful meeting instead of one hour meeting that doesn't amount to anything. So to me, the question that I would like you guys to think about is how do we get the maximum attention from people? And I think us creating memes is one way that you know, we can cut through the clutter in this digital space and really get people to share, to talk about this content and to really just talk about what is important. Okay, uh, the second part to this about getting attention is perhaps you can tell a story. If I, I, if I were to show you this image like this, uh, there will probably be no context to it. And uh, there, there will be no story. But for ex uh, if I were to tell you that actually that's me, and you know, that's me with a bunch of friends in military training, and there was a story behind this, perhaps you'll pay more attention to it. So the story behind this is we were in Thailand, in Kanchanaburi, and we re had this regular helicopter flights to and fro the region. And just that day, after this photo was taken, that night, uh, we went on this training exercise, and someone in this photo, uh, he got shot by a farmer. It was late at night, and the farmer thought he was a wild boar, and, you know, the farmer shot him. But it, it wasn't a, like a, a, a assault rifle or something. It was just shotgun pellets. But the guy's eye was being torn, and he had to go to emergency hospital. It was on the news, so it's not bullshit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I think if I were to just show you this photo and, you know, just give you no, there's no context or no story to it, I think it would have been a bit vague and ambiguous. But with this story, you know, in the last couple of minutes, you probably paid attention to this. And, and yeah, this is me jumping off a plane because uh, we used to be from the airborne, and we jumped, and, and this is not, it is real, because uh, it's not just any Google image that you can grab for the internet. I was probably in, in the plane. I haven't jumped out yet. So, uh, it, it, it's a short talk, it's a short session, but to summarize all of these, if you want attention in this current digital space where everything is crowded, everyone is trying to cut through uh, the attention, cut through the clutter and get your attention, I think you have to realize that attention is not something that is a given, it's earned. You have to think from someone's point of view, 
you have to think of why would they want to give you the attention. You have to think about the nature, the context, the environment, even the channel that they are going to pay attention to you to. So for example, if, if uh, for us, as Gang, as a meme page, we don't want to post our memes on LinkedIn. We don't want to post our memes on Pinterest or whatever because it doesn't reach the maximum, the, the, it doesn't reach the critical mass that you know, uh, the memes are supposed to give you. So if you want to get maximum attention from people, remember to think from their point of view and remember that you have to earn it. Yep, that's the end. Thank you.